So we're going to look at an option to send a group of files or um, a large file to a uh, person, either a client or a user or a coworker, that is over the email limit. Now, email is um, uh, the out the attachments on email is limited by the server and by a server limit. That's controlled by the administrator of the domain. If it's a company account or someone like Google uh, will control the Gmail limit. Um, Microsoft will control the Outlook limit um, in Outlook Webmail. Another thing that sometimes you don't get that, um, you don't know what that limit is, but you might have sent an email to someone and had an email back saying this has been refused because the size is too large or the file name or a uh, number of reasons why that, that company or that domain is not allowing you to send that email with that file. What we can do is we can zip the file, um, as in previous videos, into a container or group of folders into a zip container, and we can use a service called WeTransfer. Um, so we can open up our browser and we go to wetransfer.com. <clears throat> now, WeTransfer has a free version, uh, which we allow and agree to. Now this free version is limited to two gig. So you can transfer up to two gig using this free version. If you need larger or you use it on a regular basis, uh, you can actually sign in and sign up to their pro version, which is 12 um, euros a month. Um, and that gives you 20 gig file size. Um, and it also gives you a few other benefits like they store it longer uh, for you and they leave the window open to download it a bit longer. But for now we can just use the free version. So in the free version, in the free version, you've got a nice big add button. Uh, so you click on the add button, it's going to give you your Windows browser. Then you go to the desktop and we're going to choose our zip folder. Once you've done that, it's going to upload it in the background for us. Um, and if you had a larger file, it will show you a little progress bar. You can add more files as you go or folders as you go. Up until that limit, it's going to give you a total uh, amount remaining. It's then going to ask you for your email. Um, who you're sending it to. Once you've done that, you can add your email in it. Once you've done that, you can add a message in saying, here are the files I promised. Now, the reason it asks for your email address is because WeTransfer will send you a message saying that they've sent the files to your specific person, but they also will send you a message when they download it. Now, this is quite important because with the free account, you get seven days. So WeTransfer will hold the file in a secure location for seven days for you for that person to download it. Now, if they haven't downloaded it, you'll get an email back saying they haven't downloaded it, the link is now invalid. And if they try and use that link, it will just error out. And obviously, they will send you an email going, I can't access the files, or the files are gone, and that kind of thing. And you'll understand why. If they download it, you'll get an email saying the files have been successfully transferred to so and so. And you'll know that the files are with your recipient. Once you set all the files up, you click on transfer. You let it go. And then they actually will verify the email for you. So once you've done this, the email will go across to the specific person. So you check your emails for this verification code. And I'm just going to grab it here in my other machine. So as you see here, you've got your Gmail account. And you get a nice email from WeTransfer saying your code is this. And copy that across. Click on verify just to confirm that it's us. And then you get a nice little diagram saying it's transferred, saying it's done. Your email has been sent. Your transfer is available seven days. So that means that they've got seven days, like I said, to download the file and sort it out. Gives you a nice little uh, summary of what you've done and who you sent it to. So you can close, close it out. And we've sorted. If we go back to our, our email, we get an email confirmation saying who we sent the files to, what we sent, and how much it is, and the deadline date. So the deadline for this file transfer is the 26th of April, who it is, and the download link itself. So we can even click on the download link and grab the files ourselves as a test. And that's how easy and quick it is to use WeTransfer.